Hello, my name is Triple S, also known as the Disliked Man. Hopefully the audio is okay, the music isn't too loud, Minecraft isn't too loud. Or I should really say Technic isn't too loud. Because I am finally back here with another Technic tutorial, which I haven't done in a while, and... It's good to night time, and that's kind of loud. And, uh, I'm wearing some armor, just ignore that, and, uh, I'll just uh, get rid of that. But yeah, I'm back with another tutorial, and this time I'm going to be showing you how to make an Archangel's Smite, a Ring, ring of Ignition, a Black Hole Band, and Gem of Eternal Density. And now for this, you're going to need 64 stacks of 64 coal and 8 diamond to make 8 dark matter. And then you're going to need 4 bows, 4 flint and steel, 2 obsidian, 6 string, 5 diamonds, 24 iron ingots, 4 lava buckets, 2 feathers, and 32 coal. Now, it's a long process to go through using the um, phosphor stone here to make dark matter. So I'm just going to show you how to make the Mobius fuel and then you'll probably get the gist of how to carry on to make dark matter. So you get your your phosphor stone, which I showed you how to make in like the first episode, first and second episode, something like that. So go back and watch that. And you get your coal and you split it up. What's that? What is this? charcoal? And you split it up like this. And then you get eight alchemical coal. And you do the same again with your alchemical coal. Oops. Ah, what we're doing. And then you end up with two Mobius fuel. Now you do that with your Mobius fuel. And you Four of them, just put it like that. It makes it an ice fuel. We need four it an ice fuel. We do some again, and it makes dark matter. So uh, you can do it like that. I'll just drip it up back in there. So now we've got our, um, uh, our Mobius fuel, and we have our dark matter. I'll put them uh, down in this corner. Now, the first thing we're going to make is iron bands. So for that, you need your iron ingots and your four lava buckets. Ah, bugger. And you go over to your project table, you put a lava bucket in the centre, and you can only do one at a time since they've got stacked, and you surround it equally with your iron ingots. Hmm. Oh no, yeah that's right. I thought I was miscounting there, I thought you need four iron bands, but you only need three. So, uh, do this, make sure to not make an iron furnace. And then we shall have three iron bands and an extra lava bucket which I'm guessing I didn't actually need. Because I think I miscounted and thought I needed four iron bands but I only need three. So you only need three lava buckets, not four. So now you've got your iron bands and an empty bucket which I'll just get rid of. Uh, what need to do now? Well, now we can start making. So well, let's make the Archangel Smite first. So for that you're going to need your four bows and your two feathers and don't forget your dark matter and your iron bands. So uh, project table, put your iron band in the centre. Dark matter on the left and right side. Put bows in the corners. Like so. And then fill the gaps in with feathers. Then you should have an Archangel Smite. Now what this does is, from what I can remember, because I've got Minecraft full screened at the moment, so I can't exactly go onto the internet and uh, look at all the uses, but from what I can remember, and there probably will be more uses, this can turn um, uh, what is it? Uh, dirt and cobblestone into arrows. So if I got myself a load of Dirt, so I didn't need to do that, just like that, there we go. Then, uh, and, and, and it's homing. See, I just hit that elk. And it turns 14 dirt and probably 14 cobblestone into one arrow. And I'm, I don't think I should use that facing this way because I don't want to hit Dave or Trigger or the bunnies. Or over here, where I've got a pink dolphin over there, which is can't see him. Yeah. There he is, pink dolphin over there. Red dolphin, which I've caught. So you can do that, and also if you've got a Klein Star, if you got, which is a thing which I'm probably going to show you later on in the future, 
which is a point. I kind of made these in like a sort of order, but now I've been discovering a lot of new stuff. So some things that I would show you in the future would probably have been more useful like right now. But in the future I'll show you how to do stuff, and one of those things is a Klein Star. So let's see how we can get the Klein Star. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, sphere, and then Omega. And that's got a lot of EMC. If I do that, I don't think it's charged or anything, I don't know how you charge it. It's EMC valued, I think, or something like that, I don't know. I'll put it in here. Fuck. <laughs> I just made a load. Uh, yeah, I've been leaving my uh, energy condenser overnight to make um, a load of red matter, and I don't think... Uh, I don't think I can turn these back into um, red matter, so <laughs> I've just made a load of uh, things like that. Uh, Let's get rid of this dirt and let's go over. Woo! That's because my armor is at super speed. Let's go over here. Let's find uh, this bunny. Ah, no, it's not working. I don't know how you charge the the client star. Can't remember. Hmm. Might be in a um an MFSU. I don't know. How that work? Maybe? I don't know. No. Well anyway, in a future video I'll be showing you how to make them, but with this fully charged, it will turn all the EMC inside of it into arrows for your Archangel Smites. Which is quite cool. So now I've done that, so I'll just chuck this into the leftover chest, which I recommend that you have, and you might have if you've been watching my videos. So far you would you would have the Swiffles, Rending Gale, Phosphor Stone, an Alchemy Bag, Talisman Repair, Destruction Catalyst, and now you would have an Archangel Smite if you've been following my videos. So now the next thing to make is a Ring of Ignition. And for that you need your 4 Flint and Steel, your Mobius Fuel, your Iron Band, an Iron Band, and Dark Matter. Let's do that. So again, it'd be the iron band in the centre, flint and steel in the corners, like so. Dark matter on the sides, and then fill in the gaps with your Mobius fuel, and you have a ring of ignition. Now again, let's uh, go away from here because this is all wood, and the ring of ignition, which you might have been able to guess, makes fire. So. Uh, Let's find an empty field over here, near the goddamn tanks over there. There's a couple of cows. So, um, let's see. Let's charge it up by pressing V. And then if you do Shift V, it'll decharge it. Now if you do that, and you um, right click, it does like a, a line of fire. Which, um... Which, uh... Hopefully it won't spread too far. Now while you're using it, which I just remembered, you can't be set on fire. So I'm walking over this fire and it's automatically putting it out so I can't be hurt by fire. And there's also another cool thing. Oops. Let's grab some lava. Diggy diggy a hole. The lava in here, and I am not being hurt by lava. I'll get rid of this armor in case you think it's that, because that's quantum armor, it's quite strong. But the ring stops me from getting hurt by lava. Doesn't mean I can swim through lava at the same speed as water, it's still pretty slow when swimming through lava and stuff like that. But there you go, and uh... you can throw fire as well. Now I'm trying to. There we go. You have to be quite close to uh, hit stuff and you don't exactly set them on fire either. But um, uh... Cool. Get out of here. There's a ball there, I don't know why he's here, that's some kind of... 
saw this wood on fire, which I put down here to go, oops. Because <laughs> if you put wood down like that, it kind of stops the spread of taint if you can get it at the right angle, and that didn't work. Oh, whatever. Oh, I cooked a pig. Cooked that, that boar, I think. Ah, there's fire everywhere now. And uh, invisible fire as well. The most horrible kind of fire. And it's getting dark. So, from what I can remember, that is all the uses of the Ring of Ignition. There may be more. That I cannot remember. There's a snake. Hello, snake. Make sure people are still here. Yep, they are. So I'll chuck rig and reignition in here and I'll make it daytime again. Now the next one is the black hole band. And for that you don't need cut pot chop. You need six string, two dark matter and an iron band. Yep, that's it. So uh, same again, iron band in the middle. Dark matter on either side, and then fill in the gaps with your string. Black hole band. And if I activate it, oh no! Oh, that's a thing. The other two things. I keep forgetting that they have an activation thing, which is used by pressing G. If you press. I don't know if Archangel Smite has one. If you press G, the ring of ignition. That just keeps. Uh, an area around you set on fire when you're walking and it uses like a redstone dust every six seconds and glowstone dust every 32 seconds or something like that that's kind of cool and I can't remember what the black hole band, I think the black hole band is just it's it's uh, effects when you have it turned on which is if I just get a little stone go to creative Okay. So if I turn on this, it pulls in items. It tracks them to me. So I could just go blah 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 blah. It'll just fly around my head and then I'll pick it back up. I can't drop them faster than I can pick them up. <laughs> Oh, made a car and a dog. That was the opening theme from Apollo Justice that I'm hearing in the music there. But um, yeah, quite cool with this. You can also put it in an alchemy bag, like the one you should have. You could just put it in the chest, an alchemical chest. And then when you drop things near the chest, it'll be pulled into the chest. I'll show you here. It's an alchemical chest. Put this in here, activated of course. Uh, get rid of that stone. And it's getting pulled in. Awesome. And then that's that same thing applies to your alchemy bag. So when you're walking around, instead of your inventory getting full up with the like cobblestone and stuff, it all goes straight into your alchemy bag. Awesome. Now I'm obvious. Deactivate this and I'll show you. Oops. I'll show you um, the last item which works very well with the black hole band. And Dalcony bag. And I'll probably keep this colour stone there as well. So now for the last thing you need your last of your dark matter, five diamonds, and your two obsidian. Yep. Oh, uh, Get rid of that alchemical chest. Now, this is different, it's not a ring, but it's a, a diamond in the center and in the corners. Then a dark matter either side, and then fill in the gaps with your obsidian. And this makes a gem of eternal density. Now, if I activate this, bollocking bollocks. Oh, it's not doing it to the stone. Hmm, uh, cobblestone? Hmm. Why is that not working? 
maybe it's not that. Maybe uh, if I grab some iron ingots. There we go. What the gem of eternal density does is turn. Oh, god damn it! There we go. Is turn. Is uh, what I'm trying to say. It consumes things, and then when it's had enough of that, it turns it into the next upper tier. So it turned that 64 iron into a load of gold, and then there was enough gold there to make two diamonds. So I effectively just turned 64 iron ingots into two diamonds. Now this works very well with your alchemy bag and your black ore band. So if I uh, activate this and this, open my black ore bag, put my gym and black ore band in here. And then if I uh, grab a load of iron ingots and uh, turn creative mode on, I'll fly up again. Oh, God damn, that's not working. The uh, uh. Well, it's brought a lot of them in here. I need to turn this off. No! Fucking hell. <laughs> you have to be very careful when using the gem of eternal density if you just use it in your normal inventory in case you have like. A lot of iron ingots that you kind of need, and then you put it in your inventory and accidentally turn it on, and you use up all your iron ingots, turn them to gold, and you're like, ah, oh, fuck. You gotta be very careful with that, so I'm just gonna chuck. Oh, for God's sake. It's not that that I needed to turn off, it was my black hole band. Gee, there we go. Okay, right, let's go into my alchemy bag. So many inventories, I'm getting so confused. Right, let's chuck all these on the floor. And the gold. Right. So now, turn this on. Put it inside my bag. With my diamonds. Turn this on over, all the way over here. Put this in my bag. Now when I walk up, walk up to these. I'm getting low, flame, low frames, what the hell? Come on, come back up. That's better. Um. What? Did it work? Why didn't it work? Right, I'll turn you off. These lot go on the floor. Right. I'll turn it on. Ah! Get away. Oh damn, somebody spawned. Oh no, there's still there. I do that. Go in here. Put this in here. This should go into my... What? Alright, I'm confused. They're supposed to go into my alchemy bag. Well, that's what it says on the wiki anyway, I'm pretty sure. That if you put your... Black hole band in there. I think. I don't know. I might have read it wrong. Probably did. Hmm. Okay, that's really weird. Because all it's doing is just pulling them into my inventory. It's because of that. I don't know. Let's try again. Try for the last time. Let's chuck all these on the floor. Over here, turn this on. Put this in here. It's not working! Okay, I'm so confused. I'm pretty sure that was supposed to work. Pretty sure. Huh. Well, okay. I'm either being stupid and it doesn't actually work like that, or it's just not working like that at the moment for some reason. Something's broken or something, because it's pretty sure it's supposed to pull everything into the alchemy bag and not my inventory. Well, anyway, if I chuck those in there, it turns into three more diamonds. 
So, yeah. You could be walking around with your... Put your black hole bound in there to save space on your hotbar. Because I'm pretty sure it doesn't work in your inventory. Maybe worry about that. Again. God, I'm so confused. I'm pretty sure it should have worked. Pulling stuff into the alchemy bag and not just the inventory. But you can walk around with your alchemy bag. And then you like... Uh, you pick up a lot of ingots or stuff like that if you want to change. So I swear what works on dirt and stone as well. I am so confused. I swear it used to work on dirt as well at one point. And it's just randomly turned 64 dirt into that many dirt. Oh my god, I'm so confused. It doesn't work on stone either. And I thought it did. Ugh. Hmm. Then what was I using? Oh, it's getting night time. So what was I using then? Because I, I had set up a thing in here, in my sorting facility, to put stuff into a chest. So upgrade. All the way up to red matter because it goes like iron, gold, diamond, dark matter, then red matter. Oh, so I'm guessing I was just like piping. Oh, yeah, I was just piping gold in there. I was piping half of my gold into there to upgrade. Oh, that's probably why. Oh, I don't know. Well, anyway, that's what you can do. You're walking around and you suddenly realize. You don't have like a, a diamond sword, but you've got enough gold or iron, or like you need gold for something. Then you can just open up your alchemy bag, put your um, uh, the day the day what I'm trying to say. Put the uh, gold that you found and somehow smelted. I guess. I'm not really thinking this through, am I? Because uh, you could really just come back home and put your stuff all in here and get double the amount and then... Yeah, do that. Do that. That's what I say. Do that. You collect a load of ore. You collect a load of uh, gold ore. Like so. And then I'll just get rid of this. Right, you collect a load of gold ore. You come home. You like... You put your gold ore in there. It doubles it. So I put 10 in there, it makes 20 gold, and you're like, huh, well I need to make some diamonds. I don't have any diamonds at all, yet, even though you probably should have if you've got like stuff like here. You can probably just put a diamond in there and turn your gold into it. But to save on time, if you're out and about, and you've got gold, like you found some, or smelted it, or whatever, and you just want to quickly just make some, chuck it in here, and you've got two diamonds. Or three. Or four. Or five. What the fuck's happening? <laughs> okay. I'm thinking they were just like stored inside there. <laughs> oh. Okay, this ending of my tutorial has gone a bit pear shaped. With stuff not working how I thought it would work, and my example of how you could use the, the uh, general internal density not working out. But it's just basically, if you want to, like, if you don't, want to gather 6 million coal to make like dark matter or red matter or you can't be asked. you've run out of diamonds, you've accidentally used up all your diamonds so you can't energy condense some, but you've got a lot of gold then you can turn leftover stuff, leftover ores into the next tier so you've run out of diamonds, I've got more frames again come on, frames go back up go back up Okay, the design to not go back up. Well, yes. Then you use your your general return density to turn all that leftover gold or iron that you've got into a very needed diamond because you've used up all of them, or you just can't be asked uh, condensing a load of goddamn coal into six million stacks to make red matter. Because uh, I've left this for a long while. 
to make this many um, red matter. It's been many, 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 many hours to make this many red matter. So if you were to do this and just use the power of uh, the energy collectors relays and glowstone, it would take a long time to make a lot of red matter. So if you don't want to just condense a lot of stuff, because I'm pretty sure, I think, I don't know if I'm right in thinking that I'm, uh, uh, oh, the EMC values might be the same, maybe? But I'm thinking it's actually easier to make red matter using the gem of a general density than the condenser, but I'm pretty sure they're pretty much the same and it's just the gem of eternal density is a mobile condenser which you can use in emergencies. But anyway, <laughs> I've been rambling on at the end as I usually do, but anyway, I've finished now and I've shown you how to make. Oop. Get things out of my bag. So today I showed you how to make the Archangel Smite, an awesome equivalent to a bow and arrow if you've got tons of dirt and cobblestone left over, or a fully charged client star, which I'll be showing you how to make way off in the future because I've got a load planned already. I showed you how to make a ring of ignition, which is used to just burn everything, and so be careful not to use it in the place if your house is like made of wood, as it is around me right now, so I didn't use it here. Showed you how to make a gem of eternal density, which is still on, as is the black hole band. Which is, gem of eternal density is just a mobile condenser. Look at that! It had cobblestone left over. I'm guessing it doesn't use cobblestone up until it can actually make something. So if I was to chuck in a lot of dirt, a lot of dirt, like so, and then got rid of the cobblestone and diamond, Yes! There we go! It's doing it! It's working now! I knew it could use dirt! I knew it could! And it could probably use cobblestone and stuff like that, and sand and that. I bloody well knew it could! Well anyway, yes, you could do that then. If you find you suddenly short on iron, and you need... and you, you know, you're always perpetually surrounded by dirt, then you could just chuck a load of dirt into your alchemy bag, along with your gem of eternal density, and whammo, you've got iron. <laughs> there you go then. Just be careful to make sure not to, you know, create enough iron that would make gold. Because I don't think then you could turn it back, I'm not sure about that. But yeah, there you go, there's that. And I showed you how to make the black hole bands so that uh, when you're walking about, if something like, uh, if you're like, uh... So like, a, like you're up a tree, or something. I like you. Oh god, pardon me. Like you, you know, you break a lot of leaves and there's saplings stuck up there. The black hole band will pull them down instead of you having to wait for them to drop to the floor. Or like if you're waiting on the cliff and you're mining. So, say like if you're over there, you're down there ish. Actually, a gunshot. And another. It's like you're down there ish, you mined that coal up there, but you can't. And normally you wouldn't be able to reach it unless you build a platform up. With this, you just stand there and the coal gets dragged down to you. So that's really handy. And then um, uh, I'm guessing there wasn't enough uh, dirt to make anything. Okay, there was. That is so really confusing. That is so really confusing. I'm guessing... oh, I don't know. I'm guessing my... All that dirt managed to make enough cobblestone to make... Iron? I'm gonna get rid of that iron. See what this does. I'm guessing you just use it all up, and then when I turn it off, it'll... Poop out a load of iron. Because... It, Usually, because it's actually... Oh, there we go, there's iron. There's iron. I'm guessing before I made enough cobblestone and iron so that I tried to put them together to make gold, but it was just shy of making gold or something like that. 
I don't know, Gem of Eternal Density is kind of iffy sometimes. Let's see, there we go. Oh, it leaves a stack. I remember now, it leaves a stack of material behind for you so you can build. That's what it does. So it's not like it uses up all your cobblestones and you can't like build a platform over a bridge to make a bridge or something like that. But anyway, when I do that, it's made two iron ingots and cobblestones. So like, if you just suddenly condense all that stuff and you're like, what the fuck? Where's my, where's the iron that I was expecting to have from condensing all that cobblestone? Well, just turn it off and it'll be there. Just like stores it inside of it. But you just gotta be careful to not go too far to make like gold accidentally if you're wanting iron or if you're wanting diamonds and then you accidentally go too far and make dark matter or something like that. Which, that's a pretty big mistake to make because there's a big gap between diamonds and dark matter. But anyway, yes, I can just mice, ring of ignition, gem of eternal density, black hole bound. There's a couple of other rings that uh, I discovered and would be good to show you, but again, like I said, there's uh, I kind of made this in an order and I've discovered new things which would probably come in handy now, but um, I've got things planned already, so they'll be coming in a lot later on. But yeah. Done. Long ass video again, probably like 40 minutes or something like that, I bet. But anyway, my name has been Triple S, also known as Dislike Man. You can probably see my mouth pointer here right now. But anyway, we've been a wonderful audience. Round of applause. Thank you for watching this long ass video that's going to be probably 40 minutes, something like that.